What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing uh, basically almost all of the front end on a 2015 F250. Uh, they started this front end in 2005. They run to 2016 at least. Uh, I haven't been under any of the newer trucks to see if it's essentially the same setup, but I know at least until 2016 uh, it is virtually the same, if not the same. I think there were some small tweaks over the years, but nothing major. We're going to be using uh, all moved parts here, so I'm going to get all this stuff unboxed and show you what all we're replacing. But first guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop those comments down below, guys. What do you think of the suspension? What's your experience been with Ford versus uh, Moog or other manufacturers' parts for these types of things? And we have more uh, 6 liter and 6.7 content to come. Okay, so here's everything I have. I did make one mistake, and I, I don't know what I was thinking. So I got this collar, which connects this tie rod end down here to the drag link. I got two of these ad adjustable sleeves and I wasn't, this isn't even showing up, but so here's my tie rod um, adjuster sleeve in the middle here. Hopefully that's not too big of a bear to reuse. That'll really stink, but I definitely didn't want to have to worry about trying to reuse any of this stuff uh, for that sleeve. So uh, we're definitely going to be taking that all out so in here really the only thing I'm not replacing yet is I didn't replace the steering dampener and uh, the track bar bracket uh, this middle piece here this is actually a nice piece Ford does what connects these two here so just a driver side passenger side and that's how this all is the whole way up. The only difference is I don't have the sleeve. Um, I didn't buy a new one that adjusts, that connects those two there. But um, this over here goes through the steering knuckle and through this, and then you bolt it from the bottom up. That's why it's such a long uh, tie rod end. And then that goes up top through the pitman arm. And the, that's also on the uh, steering knuckle. So pretty much everything uh, to have brand new. The Ford piece that connects these is actually pretty sturdy. Uh, that connects these two lower tie rod ends. All right, first off, rainwater on the ground. It's cold. So I just want to say there's one bolt over there. You guys kind of see that. That's the driver's side I'm pointing at. That's for the tie rod end that goes over there. So there's a bolt that connects to the steering knuckle. And then over here, there's a bolt under, or a nut underneath, that comes off. And then here's your two parts. Then I'll point it out in the video, but up there, that's your pitman arm that the top of the one drag link connects to. Also, you'll notice on there, I'll point it out too, there's another bolt that you have to <clears throat> There's another bolt you have to take out, and that's to remove your steering stabilizer. So it's a total of four bolts that need to come off. And I just wanted to show you that. So you got a, a nut down there, a nut over there, and two up there. The one, I think that's coming up on top of the pitman arm. Anyway. That's the one you got to take out. That's the one I used the pickle fork for. I'll point to where I had to go in to get that out as well. All right, this has been a bit of a bear to get out. So this is by the steering knuckle here uh, on your passenger side, this big one here. And this goes to your pitman arm. That was a bear to get out. Uh, I basically took a my mini sledge, the pickle fork, and uh, beat it in there finally got that out this one wasn't as bad to do but still you know took the sledgehammer to get they do make um not clamps pullers uh to get these off easier uh, i'm trying to do this without removing my uh, tire there but i don't think that is going to happen i think i'm gonna have to pull that tire to uh, get all this how i need it so we'll see but uh anyway we're gonna get moving i'll at least assemble 
uh, this piece here. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up just how this is uh, to try to keep our alignment relatively close. I'm still gonna get an alignment down the road, but uh, that's more just to be on the safe side than anything else because once you do it this way, you really shouldn't need one if everything still lines up perfectly. That being said, I don't know that they uh, exactly kept this alignment spot on here. This truck was clearly worked pretty hard. So anyway, once I have this assembled and this one out, I'll show you what I'm trying to do here is, uh, yeah, it's coming up. So I'm trying to, I loosened all this stuff up and now I'm just trying to loosen this off of it. Okay now, so we have these basically lined up perfectly, uh, or as close to perfect as you can, obviously. Um, new one is obviously up top. So we have the Zerx fittings in on that. Um, this, I don't think Ford typically has uh, greasable fittings, and this has it on each. So I'm going to assume that this is not the original one, that this has been replaced at least once. Um, doesn't shock me. Uh, it's not, it's not good, but it's not terrible. I've seen worse. And actually, uh, this top one's pretty good. So, that's not bad. The tie rod ends, on the other hand, they're pretty bad. They definitely need replaced. Um, there's a lot of play in them. But, yeah, this guy, to see the difference here, I can't move this one at all. This one, pretty easy to move. Uh, again, this top one here, this top one's actually not bad. This top one's actually, this is good. Oh, here, I can see it move. This top one's good. Uh, it's just a messy piece of crap. So, that stinks. Wasted money on that one. But, uh, definitely didn't waste money down here. So, if you're not going to replace the whole thing, be able to line it up, uh, what you can do is take a tape measure and roughly measure from like dead center dead center here to dead center on there try to get it lined up if you're just replacing one of them take your tape measure 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 from about center on here to some place on here so you know you'd mark on this mate on this drag link here uh, from here to here and that would help keep your alignment uh, the same you wouldn't have to worry about anything one thing that's nice about replacing everything is I bet these are a bear to get off, uh, I'm, I would imagine. Now, when putting the new ones on, the reverse thread on the drag link end, reverse thread, and uh, then on the regular one, they're obviously just right-handed thread. So just to throw that out there so you're aware, we are gonna wait to get this in. I need to mess with this outer tie rod end over here and see if I can't get it out. So anyway, be back soon. Okay, so I did end up having to take a tire off. Uh, you know, at a certain point, you're hurting yourself more than helping by trying to keep it on. It's not that big of a deal. I was being lazy. But uh, we got this guy off. This nut, there was so much rust and corrosion on this that this nut, as I took it off, smoked. They had some kind of cap on it for the cotter pin. That's not the, that shouldn't be the original nut that was on there, unless Ford does something a little bit different. But anytime I've done it, it's just been a castle nut uh, for the cotter pin. So anyway, I don't know what that is. Maybe some of you guys in the comments can comment down below. So uh, we're about to beat this out. But before we do, I am going to uh, run down and get a new adjuster, um, tie rod end adjuster for this because I'm having a heck of a time trying to get the other one out. So anyway, uh, it's probably best just to have all new stuff. Uh, this stuff is a disaster. It really does kind of stink because for a few more dollars, I could have had a really badass uh, tie rod adjuster from uh, PMF suspension. One I want to do in the future on this truck, but oh well, no big deal. Uh, we'll have parts for the 05 axle swap on the 6 liter when I get around to it. When we'll just take this off and put the new one on here when I get around to it, so no big deal. Okay, YouTube, we got a new adjustable sleeve for the tie rod ends. We got them over there. We're gonna hook this all up. I'm gonna get this one off so we can kind of try to eye this up and get this exactly as close as we can 
so that we don't really need an alignment. I do plan to get an alignment in the very near future. We're not trying to mess up brand new tires, but first I need to actually get everything that could cause an alignment done. I'm not sure if I don't need ball joints or not yet. Um, I'm, I need universal joints definitely. And uh, there's a good chance my wheel bearings are shot on this as well. So I wanna get all that done prior. I will say this, in my experience, if you're super careful with your ball joints, I have never actually had an adjustment after doing a ball joint job. I have always gotten alignment, but I've never actually needed one. Um, a lot of these components I've never actually done before, so we'll just have to see. Uh, these tie rods, this is the first time I've done drag links and tie rod ends and stuff. The white truck on the channel all still has factory ones, except for like ball joints and wheel bearings. And I think I did the track bar once. So anyway, we're gonna get back to work guys. I will get to show you guys all this here in a little bit. These are, these are some big old parts though. These are not uh, small by any means. So I'm not sure what that is. I think that's just grease. Yeah, it's just grease. Uh, Cause we're gonna put some anti-seize on all this stuff in case it ever has to come apart. Hint, hint, I do want to upgrade the adjuster sleeve to something a little cooler than that so anyway guys i'll get back to you in a little bit here okay guys just some pointers here uh not sure where i'm going to put this in the video but just trying to review everything um i said we did take the one tire off pretty simple i'm i would recommend just replacing all this and then you, this stuff as you're getting out i really just hit it with a hammer um except for the top part that connects to the pitman arm off your steering gear box I need a pickle fork for it and I hammered that in there good and hard and uh, popped right out then. But it was a bear trying to get it out without all that so I recommend just slamming that to get it out of there. Then uh, we got all of our new stuff here. We have this as closely lined up as possible. Uh, may need to make some adjustments down the road here but hopefully not too bad. Uh, I did make sure to put some anises on all this stuff to make it easy to turn once it's in if I do need to adjust anything. Uh, but we should be pretty close here. Anyway, we're gonna start putting everything back together. I'm gonna start with the lower tie rod end and then we'll get the upper stuff in there. And basically as I get stuff in, I'm gonna just hold it in with one nut and then uh, go from there. All right, guys, so I'll try to catch as much of this as possible over here, but I really don't know that it's gonna come through too well. Okay guys, we're losing sunlight fast. Well, we've lost sunlight. It's just about dark here. So finish the job. This isn't a bad job to do. I do recommend um, at least taking off one of your wheels. It's easier if you just take both of them off, set your front axle on jack stands, chalk the rear wheels. Safety first guys, but um, not bad to do. It's literally, um, I think the only thing I didn't specify, you remove the, steer stable, uh, the steering stabilizer uh, from there, uh, not a bad idea to replace it, not a bad time to replace it, it's one extra bolt to do that. Uh, we didn't do the track bar yet, we are going to in the future, but there's a ball joint in there as well that needs to come out. And I'm debating doing an upgraded part, uh, so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna do that or not yet. Before you take this thing for a drive, go, you know, go over all your connections, make sure all your cotter pins are in, make sure all your clamps that keep everything tight are tightened down and everything's good to go. I've just backed it out of a little bit back here and it's probably not coming up. Uh, it's close. I don't know that the alignment is exact, but it's close. We're gonna get it double checked. We'll get it so it is perfect, but um, it is relatively close, I do believe. I'm gonna take it for a drive here in a little bit. Gotta clean up my mess here. It looks worse than it is, but I do have to clean all this up. Guys, any questions down below? Uh, you know, it's a kind of a loose tutorial. It wasn't, you know, you guys didn't see everything. I just kind of talked about it. It's really just one, two, three. It's it's literally three bolts uh, <laughs> is about it. Uh, yeah, it's three bolts. Four, I forgot about the steering stabilizer. It's literally removing four bolts. So I don't know if this is coming up. We'll see it and add it, but um, the only part of this that was still good is, was the upper 
drag link ball joint. Everything else is, you know, is shot. Oh, again, I don't know if this is coming up. You shouldn't be able to wiggle any of this stuff here. So, hopefully this helps. Steering should be uh, nice and tight now. Uh, also fixed a uh, vacuum leak, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I came in the garage to finish the outro, guys. Thank you again for the support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Drop those comments down below, guys. I'll see you in the next upload.